Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall haul. I went shopping this past week and bought some items that I just could not wait to share with you guys. I got clothes and shoes to share and yeah, we might as well just jump into it. So this is going to be a try on haul so you guys can actually see how these clothes look. And we're gonna start with the first store I went to which is Plato's Closet. Plato's Closet is like a consignment shop in the sense that people bring in their used or unwanted clothes. The people that sell their clothes get money. And it's different from a traditional consignment shop in the sense that you get your money immediately, whereas some consignment shops you have to wait to get your money until it sells. So I like to bring in clothes that I'm kind of sick of or out of season and get money for it. And then I usually just buy new clothes at Plato's Closet. I love shopping at Plato's Closet because you find some really great finds. You also find some not so good finds, but you just don't purchase that. If you don't want them, don't purchase them. But um, this is from Plato's Closet and it's from Forever 21. Legit, the tag, the original tag, which is not, people don't always do this. This obviously was never worn. They actually have the original tag and this was a $49.80 jacket i got it for 22 dollars that's half price half price and this is a nice faux fur jacket i am obsessed with this i think this is so cute for the fall and winter and it's so fashion forward it's so soft and luxurious and honestly you can't beat the price so here's an example of somebody who barely probably wore this and brought it to the consignment shop or to plato's closet i should say and here I am finding it and obsessing over it and thanking God I didn't spend $50 on it, but got it for 22. And you can just tell it's really not been used. It has no stains on it. Oh, such a great find at such a great price. So I had to share that with you guys. Again, this next item is from Plato's Closet as well. And it's another Forever 21 item. And I'm not sure how much this originally was, but I did get this for $14. And it's just a really nice cardigan sweater, black, and um, it has little cream colored crosses all across it. So I just think this is really fashion forward and can go with a lot of different looks. Uh, you could wear this with a skirt, you could wear this over um, a shirt with leggings. It's just very versatile and that's why I like it so much. The next item, again from Plato's Closet, is this scarf and it's a Croft and Barrow scarf. So it's from Kohl's and I can't, it has the price blocked out. Oh, this is a $36 scarf and I got it for, um, let me see if I still have the other tag on it. Jeez, I don't know how much I got there. Oh wait, here's the tag. I got this for $8, $36 to $8 and again, I, I can't tell that this has been used and it's got faux fur on it as well and I just really like the color detailing of the black and white so I really wanted a new infinity scarf for the season and I got this at another affordable price. Plato's Closet has a lot of great finds. I also got this uh, tan colored sweater for $14 and this is originally from H&M. I just love the loose neck, the loose um, turtleneck feel. Uh, I forget what they call these. There's a name for um, this but I just really like how it's very loose and it's long and super super comfy the sweater is definitely awesome sweaters are definitely making a statement for this fall and winter season I feel like last season I wasn't so much into sweaters as I am this season so definitely look for these and try to get them at affordable prices because they can be pretty expensive this next sweater is um, Again, from Plato's Closet, I got it for $16. And the brand I've never heard of, it's a RxB brand. I'm not sure what RxB is, so I couldn't tell you, but it kind of just spoke to me. I kind of just liked um, how the turtleneck was loose. And um, I just really like how the color detailing is. And again, it's just very warm and cozy and comfy for the season. This is my last purchase from Plato's Closet. This is just from Victoria's Secret Pink and it's kind of like a jersey. 
I think it's great for football season and for around the house and bed. And it was only $10. And I just thought it was really cute. And honestly, you can't beat the price of $10. You guys know how expensive Victoria's Secret Pink is. Okay, moving on to the next store is Forever 21. Recently, the mall closest to me, well, it's not really closest to me, but to small, upgraded to the bigger Forever 21. So I had so much fun in there. I love the new Forever 21s. If you guys remember the old, smaller Forever 21s, they expanded to men's and stuff. Amazing, amazing, obsessed. I found this sweater and it immediately spoke to me. The only thing that sucks is it is a white, so I feel like it's just gonna stain ever so easily, but I had to get it. I love how it looks, I love how comfy it is, I love the length of it, and I love the detail on it. I love everything about this sweater. Um, it just sucks with these sweaters because it being white, me wearing makeup, it's gonna easily get onto this, but it's part of what comes with the territory, I suppose. So this was, uh, $12.90 and I honestly don't think that's bad for this sweater considering how thick it is and sweaters can you know cost you a lot of money so I didn't think that was too bad this shirt really stood out to me it's just a really nice gray shirt and you can honestly wear this uh, tucked into a skirt uh, tucked into a shirt and you know you could totally rock it very very nice shirt and I got this for $12.90, so this is what it looks like. It's just your basic gray. I kind of tried to avoid getting graphic shirts because I have so many graphic shirts. I kind of wanted stuff that was a little bit more toned down and muted, so um, if you guys are noticing that, that's why I have a lot of graphic stuff. This really stood out to me. It's just the prettiest, perfect, form-fitting uh, sweater dress. And I loved the color. The cream beige really just stood out to me. I got this for $19.90. Again, not bad considering it is kind of a sweater-like material. And this would be really cute with, um, you know, thigh-high boots, leggings, uh, uh, thigh-high boots with like stockings. It's very versatile, which again, I am obsessed with. If you guys would like to um, see like a lookbook featuring some of these pieces, write it in the comments below. can totally do that for you guys and kind of show you how I like to style things. You guys know my style. It's a little bit edgy and different, so um, let me know in the comments below if you want to see these, sty these pieces styled. Um, moving right along, I got these leggings from Forever 21 and these were $10.90 and they're pretty uh, built well. Um, they feel nice, just your typical leggings, just all black. I needed more pants, I'm kind of running out, and I literally live out of like harem pants or joggers or leggings, it's like my favorite thing. This romper really stood out to me at Forever 21. I love the green, the dark green color of this, it's just so fall. And I like that it's a quarter sleeve. You could pair this with like a blazer. And it is shorts, but you can wear stockings and thigh high boots or stockings and booties. You can even wear those thick ribbed stockings so that your legs are warm. This can go well into winter and you could totally style this. I was even thinking about maybe wrapping my belt around it. It's just a nice button up um, green romper and it really stood out to me. I had to get it and it was $22.00. 90 cents so and I really like how the bottom part fits loose it's long and it covers your butt and I really like that this next dress kind of just popped out to me I got this because I'm going to a wedding literally in two weeks and I knew I wanted to get a red dress for the wedding so when I saw this at forever 21 I was like seriously like it <laughs> Could it get any easier than that? So this is the most perfect dress for a wedding because I find it to be very modest. It's very long in length compared to some dresses and it's a little sexy. It has these little cutouts, um, but it's not too over the board and it covers the chest. I love how this is like um, almost like a sweater over a dress. It's all one piece, but I just love how it gives you that like sweater feel um, with a dress and it's all in one. So that is the back of it and that is why I got this dress, but honestly, you can wear this dress well into the Thanksgiving and Christmas season as it is red. So this could be a great piece for a Christmas dinner uh, or a Christmas party. This could be an awesome piece paired with like a blazer or something of that nature. All right, so my last three pieces are all from Nordstrom. This skirt is just a 
um, the brand is Lush, but it's just a skirt with buttons down the middle. I really wanted a solid black skirt as a piece to go with like my sweaters. You know, I have these sweaters that I bought. You can actually tuck these sweaters into the skirt and then pair it with um, some tights and booties or thigh highs, whatever the case may be. I just thought this would be a solid, a nice solid black piece to go with a lot of the skirts. And this was, or to go with a lot of the tops, sorry. And this was uh, $38 by the brand Lush in Nordstrom. And then these leggings just felt really nice and sturdy and, and that's why I opted to get them. These are by the brand Sun and Shadow and $38 again. And I just love how on the knees it has this like pleather padding detail. I think that really adds a little bit of a different look to just plain black leggings. And they have a very nice cotton soft feel to them, but I really just love the detailing of the pleather knee area. You can wear these with um, booties and to really just make a statement with like a plain sweater. These are from Topshop and they totally stood out to me because of the color. I'm really into green, it seems like, for this fall season. And these are, um, again, from Topshop and these were $58. They're just nice green joggers. And they look like this. And I just love how they feel, how they fit. And again, you can style this with like a bodysuit and a blazer or a form-fitting top and a blazer and it would look really, really good. Okay, so now we're gonna move into shoes. I got seven shoes for this fall season. And these first ones um, I actually got from Marshalls. And these are kind of a purchase I got towards the end of summer. They were kind of something I found on a whim. They are the brand Lucky. And I believe I paid like $40 for them and they're originally like $80. They're just nice brown riding boots and I just think that they're perfect for fall. I did wear these towards the end of summer and they looked really nice with shorts, but I uh, really wanted them for the winter season. Riding boots are an essential. And it's nice to have boots that don't have heels because, you know, I have a lot of booties and boots that have heels and I do get kind of sick of it and it's nice to slip on something and not have to worry about, you know, walking in heels. So I really wanted to share these because I feel like brown riding boots are totally essential for the fall season. These next booties are, uh, I'm obsessed with them. They are Steve Madden brand, again, Plato's Closet. They don't even look like they're used and I forget how much I pay for them. $17, I still have the tag on the bottom. $17 for these Steve Madden booties and the rhinestones just add so much glam to it and none of them are falling out. Such great quality and you can't go wrong with, um, you know, spending $17 on Steve Madden heels. I'm telling you guys, check out consignment shops or Plato's Closet if you have one near you. You will thank me later, I love them. These next pair of booties, I'm obsessed with. These are also from Plato's Closet and I don't have the tag so I'm not sure how much I paid but you guys will know that I got a deal. These really just stood out to me because I don't have any heels like them. I like that you get the chill vibe from the sneaker vibe but then you also get the very sexy, upbeat vibe from the fact that they are platform boot heels and they're so easy to walk in. They look very intimidating, but they're really easy to walk in and I love them. Thigh high boots, which I'm obsessing over and these are from the store called Amy Club Wear. They have awesome thigh high boots, shoes, boots, just shoes in general. Um, but these are really pretty Merlot, um, red wine colors. I just thought these would be perfect for fall and winter. And the heel is not really anything crazy. The only thing that I find a little bit weird about these is that this zipper works, but then this zipper is just not functional at all. It's just for design. And I just think that's kind of weird maybe. I mean, it is what it is. A lot of boots are created like that, but I just don't really know why they put a zipper on it that's not multifunctional, it's just for looks. But again, these are so easy to walk in because the heel is very minimal and they're pointed, super comfy, and I just love the color of them. And I love them so much that I got the same boot in black. So these are the same exact thing, um, things as the red ones or the Merlot ones, um, except they're in black. They have the same exact zipper that doesn't work and they are the same exact style, but they're just in black because I love them so much. And then my next pair of boots, these are so sexy, I'm so obsessed. They are these brown 
heels. These are a lot higher and more of platform boots and they lace up in the front. They're so sexy. I suppose you could probably not lace them up in the front. I mean, I, I put them on without lacing them up. The lace it, lacing them up makes them a little bit tighter, but um, like I said, I suppose you could go without doing it, but it definitely looks really sexy and the heel is everything. They're a little tricky to walk in um, only because they're like platform heels and the heels are very skinny. But if you've practiced walking in heels and you've walked in heels a long time, you know how it is. You just take your time. And something that I say to invest in, and you can usually find these at like Walgreens, CVS, is those anti-slip pads, which I think I need to get because these bottoms are very soft, which like, I don't know why shoe companies think that like it's helping us ladies by putting something soft here because it's harder to walk in because it's obviously going to slip. So um, they sell these little like, Dr. Scholl's or Dr. Scholl's pads that you just put on here and it helps you from slipping. So, work to the wise if you didn't know. And then, I basically got the same pair in black. <laughs> I wanted the tan ones and I wanted the black ones. Um, these ones are still soft in the bottom, just got leopard print detailing. Um, they lace up in the front and the zipper is right here on the side and then it only has one zipper and that just loosens up the shoe area to stick your foot in. So it's the same exact things as the tan ones. So that is my fall haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy watching. And I'm sure I'm gonna be doing a lot more hauls to come. Um, if you guys like hauls, write in the comments below and let me know if you want more hauls. Uh, I really kind of went a little crazy this week, but I've gotten rid of a lot of clothes by selling to Play-Dohs and also whatever Play-Dohs doesn't accept, accept, I usually just put in the drop box to give to people for free of charge. Um, it's nice to kind of sell clothes and get rid of clothes and get a new wardrobe in. So um, yeah, it's really exciting. And if you guys would like to see some of these pieces in a lookbook, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.